is green. Very green. So tomorrow is a little green day. So if you would like to come dress as a tree or a large plant, that would be very good. Yes? All right. It's show, 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 there. All right, here it comes, it's coming up. And it's my show. Don't you love technology? Technology is fantastic. All right, let's see. Let me tell you some other announcements, okay? Tomorrow, the kindergarten and first grade teachers are responsible now let me tell you, the bar has been set really high, so kindergarten and first grade teachers, make sure that you bring snacks, alright? That would be great. Anyone with visual pictures, we'd like to have in our slideshow tomorrow. So, Lori Hughes, Lori Maria, wait a minute. We need to get those pictures to Lori quickly this afternoon, so make sure by 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock, don't go to lunch and hang out, go to the zoo, and then think you're having a morning. Gotta have a quick. So if you've got digital pictures, send them to Lori. Uh, and then teachers, also if you will plan on meeting with your class on Sunday morning, uh, this coming Sunday, and children are going to sing in both services. Alright? Are y'all excited to get to sing and worship? That's right, it's gonna be great. So we teachers, we need you to escort them. If you'll meet your class in the garden before worship. Take them to the sanctuary, um, and then to the chapel after they sing, and then after chapel, we'll take them back to the sanctuary after that. Um, if you can't be here, this is really important to If you can't be here, please write your name on the list of the break room so that we can find a replacement for you. Trevor, can you find those pictures for me? Hey, don't do that. Hey. Well, I think it's most important that.
And it says in a lot of places that Jesus would go and visit people in their homes. And, so, and sometimes people would hear that Jesus was in this particular house, and they would all want to come and be near him. And so imagine that this is a house, and all of you have heard that Jesus was there, and all of you came and you all squeezed into the house. And there were so many people that no one could get in the front door. It was that full of people. Well, there were five people that really wanted to get into the house. There was one person who was kind of sick. He was having trouble moving. And he was on, oh, it's called like a, a cot. Or it's, it's a way that you can lay down and have people carry you. And this person had four friends. And the four friends wanted to take their friend to see Jesus because they believed that if he could be near Jesus, he would be better, that Jesus could help him because of God's love. But they couldn't get into the house because there were so many people. Remember I said the door was, was, was blocked. So what in the world would they do? What in the world would they do? Ah, it's the chirping of a bird. No, I'm sorry, it's the telephone. Excuse me, I should get that. Would you get that phone? That's very important. That's great, that phone. Yeah, Mike's really good at answering phones around here. He does that a lot and, and talks to people. Have you ever had a party where you had so many people in your house you couldn't get in the front door? No. Special tool. Oh! <laughs> I'll plunge my way through. Wow. And the fact that you touched that end of it. <laughs> I, I hope you just got that Home Depot today. Is this, is this not the right tool for a roof? Well, you know what? 
let me tell you one thing. The story really isn't about tools. And in the story, the four friends aren't heroes because of the clothes they wore or because of the kind of things they had. In fact, the story doesn't even tell us how they got through the room. But here's the thing that's really important. In the story, the four friends are heroes because they're friends. Because they are such good friends to the person that was sick that they would do anything they possibly could to try to help him out. And they believed with all their hearts that if they could get their friend near Jesus, that Jesus could help him. And in the story, Jesus does help him because of love, because of God's love and because of the love of these friends. So today, when you talk about the story, I hope you'll remember that the friends are heroes, but it's not because of clothes and it's not because of tools. It's because of love. Can we say a quick prayer together? Let us pray. Dear God, thank you so much for loving each of us. And thank you for all the ways today that we can show your love to us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you all so much. It's great to see you.
and always believe in Jesus. Say goodbye, Ricky Raccoon. Goodbye, Ricky Raccoon. Goodbye, Mr. Duck. Goodbye, Mr. Duck. Goodbye, Mr. Duck. Goodbye Cal. Goodbye.